The United World Week began in May 1995 at the end of the fifth edition of GenFest, the periodic international gathering of the youth for a united world. I giovani per un mondo unito sono finiti qui al Palais di Roma per il GenFest 95. Un mondo unito è davvero possibile. The purpose? To help foster relations of peaceful coexistence among peoples and cultures and to propose to local, national and supranational institutions that they should do all they can to support, encourage and render efficacious every action in favor of universal brotherhood. What have we accomplished in the 20 years since that historic moment? The creation of multiple fragments of fraternity in the most varied points of the planet, especially where loneliness, poverty and marginalization prevail. Actions that brought United World Week more and more before the public consciousness, garnering more and more media attention, including in the worlds of culture, sport, civil and religious society. One of these events is the Seven Days Run for Unity, a relay race promoted by Teens for Unity. The baton passes every hour from one time zone to another, and over 24 hours the baton is carried through symbolic places of peace, running along the borders of countries at war, into neighborhoods marked by strong tensions, by way of major capitals and small villages. All around the world, the United World Week proposes a challenge that each and every young person should commit to being a protagonist of fraternity. In recent years, a symbolic journey has begun through five continents, discovering the heritage of various cultures, religions, and civilizations. In 2010, after a meeting of young Hungarians and Slovaks in the Slovak town of Sturovo on the border between the two countries, whose relations have not always been easy, a tree was planted as a sign of fraternity in the presence of the mayors of the cities on the border. In 2011, the heart of the United World Week was a small mountain town in northern Italy, Sassello, where was born and briefly lived Chiara Luce Badano, the young Focolare member who died after a serious illness just a few months shy of her 19th birthday, and who was beatified in 2010. In 2012, Budapest welcomed 12,000 young people for the GenFest. <laughs> In a park in the city's historic center, the Fraternity Corner was inaugurated with the installation of park benches on which was engraved the Golden Rule, the heart of so many cultures and civilizations. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In 2013, 120 young people from 25 nations, Jews, Christians, and Muslims, were all together in Jerusalem for an unforgettable experience of learning and bridge building, a prophecy, a program of life for a future of peace. In 2014, Nairobi, Kenya was the scene of the Sharing with Africa project, dedicated to the theme and the challenge of reciprocal responsibility. The African continent has a precious heritage to be shared with other countries of the world. With its cultures characterized by a strong sense of community, Africa has an important word of wisdom to speak and share on the way to a united world and offers models of participation such as Fontem in Cameroon, where a project of realized fraternity has been underway since the 1960s. Fabric Flavor Festival, Discovering Fraternity was the title of the 2015 United World Week dedicated to the theme of omnidirectional dialogue. The central event was animated by the Youth for a United World of India in Mumbai, offering a chance to celebrate with the youth of the Hindu movement Shanti Ashram. In 2016, the new stage this year sees young people in Quito, Ecuador, to develop the theme of interculturalism with an event at the so-called halfway point of the world, with one foot in the northern hemisphere and the other in the southern. Days of dialogue involving young people of different cultures 
through social activities and community tourism. Link Cultures, Un Camino para la Paz, is the title that brings together the fraternity initiatives taking place simultaneously around the world and that unite generations and cultures in a single laboratory of peace and unity. The Youth for a United World hope that this international expo, an integral part of the United World Project, will be recognized also by the United Nations.